It is Monday, December 14th, and this is your English instruction for today. Our learning target reads, I can analyze the symbols and themes found within the Polar Express. Hopefully you're all doing all right. We have our last week before the end of the semester, so that's super exciting. For this week, however, we're going to do a kind of a different activity. So what we're going to do early on this week is analyze some timeless classic Christmas books, and then towards the end of the week, we're going to create our own children's story. So for today, what we did was we read the Polar Express in class, but we also analyzed some very specific components of the text itself. So I'm going to go through these questions for you and kind of be thinking about what exactly is going on with this. So if you go down, before I get into that, if you go down to the bottom here, I have a YouTube link to Liam Neeson. He's a very famous actor. He was in Star Wars or Taken. I'm sure if you see a couple, like, look at a picture of him, you will recognize maybe a movie you've seen him uh, perform in. The YouTube link takes you to a reading that he does of the Polar Express, and then I also have the script of the Polar Express down below as well. So in case you want to follow along while he reads, all the text is down here also. If you have the Polar Express at home, like the picture book, by all means, you could also just read that. But you'll have to read or listen to Liam Neeson read you the Polar Express before you complete all of these questions. But before you read it, though, it's best to know what the questions are going to be asking of us. So for the first one, list all the settings from the story. There's a lot of them in the Polar Express, so just maybe fill that in while you read the story. The next one is give us a list of characters that appear. There's maybe about five or six key characters. There's not that many in the Polar Express. Uh, what perspective is this story told from? So is it first person with those I, me, or my pronouns? Is it second person with the you or your pronouns? Or is it third person with he, she, it, they pronouns? So you have to figure that one out. Then why do you think the author chose to tell the story from that perspective? This one you're going to have to think a little bit. And it really depends upon what perspective it's being used in. Um, be sure to pay close attention to how the story goes. That might give you a hint on how to best answer that question depending upon what perspective the story is told in. Next one is, can you find any instances of figurative language? Figurative language is a phrase that does not mean exactly what it says within the story. So for example, one figurative language is cut the cheese. If you cut the cheese, you're not actually taking a knife and cutting some cheese. It's a figurative expression that means that you farted, essentially. But it's more socially acceptable to say that you cut the cheese than I farted, because it's not as vulgar. So see if you can find any instances of figurative language within the Polar Express. There's a ton of them in there. Then you list as many possible symbols you can identify from within the story. Be sure to discuss what the symbols represent. For this one, there's two key symbols that you should hopefully be able to find. There's some minor ones that students kind of struggle with finding in class. We didn't talk much about that, but there's two key ones you should definitely be sure to figure out. And then finally, what theme or themes are present within the story? Whatever themes you're able to find, go ahead and put those down as well. So after you read the story, you kind of know what questions you're looking for. Go through and answer all of these, and then give an overall rating of what you had for the story from between 1 and 10. So 1 being terrible, 10 being the best. And then a rationale, so evidence, on why you gave it that rating. Be sure to be very specific on why you did or did not enjoy the story, as it will help you when you begin drafting your own Christmas story later on in the week. So this is what you're going to be doing for today. Tomorrow's video, I'm going to start by talking over this. So tomorrow's video either might be longer or there might be two separate videos um, put out because of how much talking over this stuff I want to do with you online learners. So read through Polar Express, fill this stuff out, and then I will talk to you more about this stuff tomorrow. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a fantastic rest of your day.